Okay. So, we had gone to this point last time, where it's all off kilter. Uh, I, I did have to look up this and another thing, because I was like, I'm not figuring this out. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. You're supposed to turn it on again while he's on there. Love him so much. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in. Oh, hey, Casey, how's it going? Just in time for Grim Fandango. Okay, so are we able to go this way now? Yeah, we are. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. Hey. Okay. Well, not going that way. <laughs> I'm doing well, Casey. Okay, okay. Come on, Gladys. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. No way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U-joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. Okay. And I remember last time how I was like, oh yeah, this is the puzzle that I was stuck on forever ago, because the way I remembered it was that I needed to listen for where I need to go? Not right. Wrong. In fact, that's what I kept trying to do as a kid. And that's wrong. What you're supposed to do is... Wait, is it not that one? Do I need to go... No? Hmm. Wait. Oh wait, do I need to get out of the... Thing. We can't fit down there. Huh. Nope. Oh, button. Huh. Can Manny just walk there then? No, he cannot. Okay. Huh. Because the guy that I looked up to see, like, how do I get out of that position, specifically said... Oh, wait, wait. That's right. Because it used to be... Tank controls. Or, I guess... No. 
Something down there. Weird. The guide said to run into that sign backwards, and then it would come loose, and you can take it with you. Because it's supposed to point you in the right direction. Uh. Maybe there's something this way, then, that will help me? Maybe? What do I have in my inventory? Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. Can I put the beavers out? That's not on fire. That's not on fire. I think the guide the lied to me. for a bone there. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything for me to do. Okay. Run over here. Okay. Bim, fandango. Forest. Pit fight forest maze. This lets me exit car. There we go.
There we go. Okay. Don't worry, Gladys, we're here. Okay, now we can get back to making progress. Oh my god, man, get in the fucking car. This one instead? Or did me bashing it break it? Okay, man, get out of the car. that Gladys makes. Wait, it's the arrow actually pointing that way? And they just have Manny facing the wrong direction when it comes out of it? That would explain why it's kind of pointing in between the two. I think I just broke it is all that happened right there. It says that you follow the direction, then pick it up and place it back down, and I'll point a new direction. Is it pointing? I think, wait, I think I'm supposed to go this way and then mess with the sign. I think the bulkier side is to the, like, not on the, like, left side if it's pointing forward. Pointing 
somewhere. Thanks, game. I would love to know exactly which direction it's pointing. Okay, let's just assume pointing that way. Then we can set it back down. Okay, wait. Let me just look this up, see if someone else has, like, Okay, people are like, just keep trying it, and it will, like, it will eventually, uh, change, but that, a lot of it seems to be running in the same direction over and over again. Also, some people are saying that you should run a few times and then change the it. If you got a hint, I would love it. Because I remember struggling on this puzzle as a kid. Ignore all the room exits. Uh, the, the, I, I know that's probably not the answer, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I still have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. I, I I looked up another guide where someone was like, "Oh, you need to." It's about moving the signpost to where it needs to be. Not here, that's no way to treat the bone wagon. Oh, and there we go. Okay, back in the bone wagon. Now we can go back to making progress. Yeah, I remember spending so long on that as a kid. And guides being so much worse as a kid, too. And just struggling with that puzzle forever. Man, I'm scared of that sign. This sign? It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. <laughs> Man, that long range uh Can't pass grip on no there. Creepy key. Look out! Good thing we had that. Okay. Before it crashes again, let me just save. seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. Um... Oh. 
Wow. Hmm. That's I got key for oh wait. on the other side I'm happy with this thing locked fair enough okay Way then? Which way was it? It's... Look out! Hmm. Nope, no going that way. This is gonna lead back to tree farm, isn't it? Okay, I don't know what those weird noises are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety of the ball wagon. Did my internet cut out again? I mean, I haven't missed much if it did. Okay, I don't know why you refused to uh, put it away for a second, Manny. Not 
How do I get that one that's all the way over there, over here? Oh, hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. Cat wand out. Hmm. D didn't want to use it? Alright, fair enough. Fire. Oh my god, man, just walk through the fucking door. I wonder if this thing is rated for robots. Okay. I'm gonna control your movement since you can't be responsible enough to do it yourself. I like get you to stop using it. Uh, okay, sure. That's cool. You can switch between those. Still, I would just prefer that you put it away. There we go. Yeah, there's no interacting with that. This thing is rated for rodents. It makes sense until that one, and I can't get to it. Okay. 
So I can get the bones back. Do I need to pick up multiple bones? Okay. So that's apparently what you do. I don't know why... Oh, because it's... Okay, I get it now, I get it now. Man Manny, Manny, where are you going? There you go. Run for your lives, you buck tooth global. I'll just drop this one. No, no. Pick it up. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's two. Okay, the last one's not coming over. Okay, Gladys. Out of the way! Time for us to make more progress. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if my wife drives an old people they can't feel it they're dead what dead i would want to drive over you that's because you and i gladys are friends oh manny yeah No hard in that. I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Okay. Save. It it crashing last time. I'm now super paranoid, and I'm just going to be saving a lot. What a lovely diner. This guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, 
It's, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Elson. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had her idea first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal ad. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal ad. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. Hmm. Maybe okay, I fine. I guess I can't land. pick that up. Okay. Now let's look at the picture of his wife. Uh huh. Uh huh. It sells his wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Whoa. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. Ah. Step around here, stranger. Rubicave ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Man, Glottis is gonna be so happy about that. before I try exploring town again. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? I've always wanted one of those jackets. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. <laughs> That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog, or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn. 
by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. Manny, could I have an eye patch? Uh, I think he deserves an eye patch. Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Nope, no running past him either. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't really want to do that. Oh wait, maybe uh, the dock master knows where that guy's wife is, because it looks like she has distinguishing features. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Oh, poor guy. Okay. Then let's just examine this one. says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. Hey, Celso, guess what? You're now single. Celso. Your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Hey. <laughs> I mean, the compass will come in handy in navigating the fog. Let's turn this shindig around. Downstairs, I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type.
Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Okay, I, I like Lupe. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, You've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? What? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone who checks a code in them. Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your codes and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Help me out. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. I like the code Tell system me all about so your new far. System, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Man, man, you can't even just listen. Yeah. Hello, Manny. Hola. Lie down at the banister. Quiet night, huh, Carnal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's, What's that you're playing? playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meche. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I gotta feel it. Tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club. We got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well... I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. What is this? Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yes, I'd better take this with me for safekeeping. I don't really want to do that. There you go. Put that away. Police Chief Bogan. Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. 
Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stuff. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Just stealing what else from can the you man. Counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports. Okay, that's no. pretty good. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it want to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Number now what two. Do you still win there? Your chips, Monsieur. This must be Everything my okay lucky down area. here. I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it tonight. So, Madame, Monsieur, fed for sure, if you play. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Madame, Monsieur, round you know, up, please. Some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Pleasure, son fait. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. But no more bets, please. Okay, okay. Well, let's head upstairs because there's that other door I can go through. Meiji? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you!
Well, that's not good. thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. Aye, you do that, son. Blue casket. Oh, okay, now I can. Hi, what's your name? Friendly. Hi, what's your name? Don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to suck police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera. The up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Testing, testing. All right, who's ready to rock and roll? Maybe later then. Okay. So what is up with airplane food anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, it's so small and not that good. There's nothing funny about being dead, comrade. Life is pain, death is worse. My funny bone must have fell off in the hearse. Man, he's been bars. Anyone out there know where I can find some tools? The only tool in here is you. Oh, yeah, God damn. Tool of the government, monkey wrench of the man. Is there an Anselmo Naranja in the audience tonight? He's down at Toto's place getting carved. If he's not passed out under a dock somewhere. Good evening. I like to read a poem. I curl into a fist. The lie. You heard me. Glam bake. Can you hear me say nothing? Myself. Myself. And forever. Sing it, sister. A single calcified tear. Dig this real. I am more than dead. Ignore me. The end. Gracias. I don't think they liked it. I don't think they liked my poem.
Testing. Testing. Hey, can anyone out there help me get into the Maritime Union? Hey, we're into organizing labor, not sabotaging labor. Orale, you've been a great audience. Good night, Ruba Cop. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, Ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. I, I like how the game just cannot handle her leaning against that bar. Come on. Does she do it in the original? No, she's fine in the original version. Okay, uh... Oh, come. Okay. I curl into a fist. The lie. You heard me. Clambe. Can you hear me say nothing? Myself. Myself. You still on my poem. Sing it, sister. A single calcified tear. Dig this reef. I am more than dead. Ignore me. You stole my poem. Consider it an homage. Hey, how about another poem? Okay, alive. We slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy and dead. Nah, that was a good poem. I like that one. I approve of that. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Oh no no no! Hey, her body does not bomb. like that part. Okay. Ashes to ashes, 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 to me, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to. Ashes. was great yeah but that's the last one uh, you say that but what about another poem hey how about another poem okay i called my cat bonnie till she said it wouldn't do i said why she said sister because that's what i've been calling you oh shit that was great yeah but that's the last one Unless... Hey, how about another poem? Okay, okay, last one, folks. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops, as if to answer. 
an empty knocking at the door. It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now we dance this grim fandango and will for years before we rest. And she name dropped the game. That was great. Really? This time I just don't have any more. Hey, how about another poem? I'm bone dry, flesh out of poems. Just begin again at the top. They get better each time. Really? Okay. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. was great yeah okay a little dark in here don't you think dark and cold like the hearts of men uh you know i'm thinking of buying this place really i thought about buying yours for a while but then i just decided to ask my boyfriend max to buy it for me you can have it i'm leaving town manny you sound so exciting all of a sudden why are you leaving town Chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. up after himself I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here I don't really need a bunch of cleaning supplies these plates are filthy the sink is full of dirty hookah water I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water and I can't carry it with my bare hands I don't really want to do that Fine. I'm not going to eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean. Okay. You know where cleaning supplies are? Oh. Okay, and we know dirty dish water. Well, dirty hookah water. We'll just knock someone the fuck out. Hello. Hmm. No effect. Not at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Hey. 
Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Morro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Ubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Why not? Sorry. Old car and a joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubacava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Okay, I planned on going longer, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little fucking tired. I haven't been king good sleep lately um so let me find someone to raid real fast uh hmm. what is this that she is playing okay well it's Buff is live. We were talking about her earlier, so let me send y'all over to Spuff. And I will see y'all on Sunday. I'll be streaming with Ember. We'll be playing something. I don't remember what, but before that, I'll be playing Eastward. But yeah, thanks again for coming out, and sorry I'm not going long. I'm just so tired today. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all then. Bye.